Lucas Giolito and the White Sox head on to the field here at guaranteed rate to face the Tigers a three game series against another AL Central opponent after the last three against the Guardians Steve these Tigers have been helpful. He goes to the mound for the 28th start looking for his 11th win as the area a touch over five started 0 2 now 3 2 and the eighth pitch of the at bat to Riley Green lost him go. and a leadoff walk. It's good at bat. Well, it's harder on the pitcher when guys run, no matter what your catcher does. Baez, a line drive to right and down, up against the wall. Green to third. He'll be held there. Baez trots in with a first inning double. Ground ball right side. That'll work. Green will score. Good at bat by Cabrera. He moves Baez to third. It's 1 nothing Detroit. That slider is easy to punch through the right side. Swing and a miss with that face high fastball. Welcome back, Steve. Thank you. Like you hadn't missed it. Oz last played on Tuesday in Baltimore and went one for four. Base hit, right center field. Eric Haas comes through, brings home Baez to make it 2 0 Tigers. Well, he mixed in a slider there, left it out over the plate. And Eric Haas does his job. Drills it right up the middle. And Eduardo Rodriguez making his 15th start of the season. Back to back starts against the White Sox. He pitched well last time, didn't get a decision. The biggest difference was that two seam fastball, which is typically a sinker. Strike three called, and Andrews is caught looking. Pretty much step and throw kind of guy, but he's really working quick here. To the right side, Torkelson will lead Eduardo Rodriguez to the bag, and there are two away. The home runs there you see for Abreu third all time franchise history the RBI's fifth all time. Ground ball to third. Kreidler takes his time and that's a one two three inning on ten pitchers for Eduardo Rodriguez. This is Jonathan Scope to lead off the second. Fly ball deep left field powered out there sky high and gone. Jonathan Scope on the first pitch he sees on this Friday night delivers home run number 11 and it's a 3 nothing Tigers lead. Well sometimes you have, don't have to wait around for that cookie pitch. Giolito K's three in the inning but gives up the home run to Jonathan Scope. Eloy Jimenez leads off the second. Got him staring. Boy he's locked up a few guys tonight. Hasn't hit with a lot of power. A line drive and Baez is there. Picks it clean in the inning is over. You put more pressure on yourself than you ever had before. Hard shot past Baez. Angles on with a hit. The first for the White Sox tonight. First and second for the Sox. Might get one to hit here. Into right. Down for a knock. Joe McEwing's waving around Adam Engel. He's got the good speed and will score. Sox get one. Three to one. That ties him for the team lead and runs batted in. He has 73, same as Andrew Vaughn. Him and the bases are loaded. First pitch swinging slowly to third. Kreidler steps on the bag and the inning's over. Beautiful. Rodriguez leaves him loaded. Working the fourth. Eduardo Rodriguez facing Andrew Vaughn. That's on good. the corner to get him looking. Third strikeout for Eduardo Rodriguez. All of them staring. One away in the fourth. Kreidler's got this one behind the bag the throw a bullet wow. to Torkelson beautiful that's a hose and a perfectly placed ball doubled in his first at bat struck out looking his second time high on the zone and Baez takes it high into right back on the track toward the wall leaps and he leaps he made the catch he made the catch he just took away a homer from Baez dominating teams. Haas drills one to left, his second hit of the night. It's a leadoff single here in the sixth. And a lot of folks coming out to see that. Ground ball up the middle. Harrison's grabbed it. Steps on second and the third of first is easily in time. So Giolito rolls a pair to get out of the inning. AJ Pollock is 0 for 2. The leadoff man is on for the White Sox. Pollock sends one into right. It looks deep. In the alley and gone. AJ Pollock has just tied this ball game with home run number 14. 
lifted into right field, and it's a two-run shot, three to three. A.J. Pollock with another home run off a lefty. Boy, that just jumped off of his bat to right center field. Lopez against Akil Badu. Flared the other way in a base hit. Badu will dig and then hold on. There he goes. The throw from Grandal oh, into center field. Badu will hustle to third. The throw way late and Akil Badu's speed and the pressure applied pays off for Detroit here in the seventh. Another 0-2 lifted to deep center field. That's going to work. That will do the job. Badu will tag an easily plated sacrifice fly and a good at bat for Riley Green on an 0-2 pitch. And the Tigers reclaim the lead here in the seventh. Now it's up to uh, uh, Spencer Torkelson to just get a hit. Trying to teach these young guys to discipline themselves. There There's is a drive to left. Will that get down? It will. And it will bounce over the wall. A ground rule double for Spencer Torkelson. He drives in Willie Castro. And the lead now is 2. 5-3 Detroit on the Torkelson RBI. Two walks and a hit batter. Got him. Andrew Chafin struts off the mound, leaving the bases loaded and keeping it 5-3 Detroit as we head to the ninth in Chicago. Okay. Playing relatively deep. Soto sits him down, one away. Ground ball left side. Baez, two away. A chopper to second. Scope handles it, and that's a nice win to start the weekend for the Tigers. They beat the White Sox 5-3. And can smile all the way around on a Friday night. Pat Chase is presented by Roman, the official men's digital health clinic of Major League Baseball.